Hi, I'm Nora Ahmed. I'm 13 years old. I'm an 8th grader at Sutter Middle School and I belong to the first year of Greater Sacramento. Hi Yusuf, I wanted to congratulate you on your round. You played really well. Uh, apart from that slice on the last hole, you played really, really well. I'm really proud of you. You beat me for the first time. Congratulations. I didn't really beat you. I actually, I, when I hit it into the rough, I actually hit it into the hazard and kicked it back out. I just want, I just really wanted to beat you. Well, I'm really disappointed to hear that. I, knew, I thought you knew better than that. Well, you see, you weren't really honest. And that's wrong. You really want to be honest with yourself. See, I, was, I, I wasn't really honest with myself either. When I was about your age, um, whenever I shot a bad score, I, wouldn't, I would sign a scorecard, right? And I wouldn't cheat on my score. But in my head, I would really tell myself that I shot better. I would tell myself that, oh, I should have made those couple three-footers and hit a better bunker shot. In the end, it really hurt me because I didn't realize what I was doing wrong. See, when you treat yourself, you're only hurting yourself because you can't improve. That's really good advice, but I'm having a really hard time with this math when you're It's really not that hard. If you persevere and do really, really well, you can improve. See, I used to have trouble on the golf course, but then I learned how to persevere and I fixed my putting and now I do much better. Okay, let's go. You see, it's a negative exponent, so you have to do the reciprocal, right? Mm -hmm, which would be 1 6 to the second power. Right. And then and then you have to do the exponent, which would be 1 to the... 136. Nice job. What about number 3? You can do that one. 3, anything to the power of 0 would be 1. Nice job. See, that wasn't so hard. Oh, no, you probably don't need anyone to help you with anything because you're so smart. That's not true. I work together with my classmates all the time so I can make sure to get A's on my projects. See, I have this, I had a, I have this long term goal of getting straight A's throughout middle school. And now that I'm in 8th grade, I only have one trimester left. And I've gotten straight A's so far. And I work with my classmates and we help and tutor each other so that we can get straight A's and reach our goal. Oh, Lord, what's your favorite book that you've read? Oh, I really like They Cage the Animals at Night. What makes you like it so much? Well, it's about this young boy, Jennings. And he, and he is 8 years old and he goes in and out of foster care because his mom is unable to care for him and his 5 other siblings. And he, all he has is this little stuffed dog as his companion. And even though he goes through some really tough times, he still loves his mother and he's willing to go into foster care for her so that she, so that she can get the care she needs. He's really caring and he's always optimistic and he's so thankful for what he has. What about the competition you um, entered for? Oh yeah, the succeeding together. That's really cool. I can't wait to finish my video and post it online. When you, you know, why do you want to win the competition so badly? Well, I really want to play Quail Hollow because it's a really challenging golf course and I want to see how I can play there. And you probably want, really want to play with Ricky Fowler because he's a professional. Yeah, he's really nice. I want to play with him. My goal is to be a pro on the LPG Tour and I hope I can get some tips from him and see how he conducts from himself and learn from that. But playing over a crowd is really challenging. You have so much pressure on you. Yeah, I think that would be another thing I'd be able to learn is learn how to play under a pressure, especially with Ricky Fowler watching. Oh, well, it was nice talking to you. If you need any help with your math homework, just let me know. Okay, thanks. Good luck.